Today I'm going to show you how to install the Rocket Workbench on FreeCAD version 0.19. I'm going to show you three methods for doing this. The first will be of use to most users, and that's to use the automatic install uh, using the add-on manager. The second will be installing using a zip file, and that'll be useful if you want to test uh, pre-production versions, for example. And the third method is just by doing uh, a git uh, replication of the master source folder, primarily of use for developers, but um, yeah, it's also easy to keep up to date that way. So we'll start with the simple method. Okay, so if we look at our workbenches, we can see we do not have the Rocket workbench installed currently. To install it, we go to Tools, Add-on Manager, and this has a list of available workbenches, and you can see the ones that I have installed, such as 3D printing tools, are highlighted in green. Okay, and if I scroll down under the R for Rocket, we can see it's available there. When I select it, it shows me the um, README file from the uh, source installation. It's got a nice picture of a nose cone and another uh, bit of description for, um, for the workbench. And I want to select this one, Install or Update Selected. Okay, So it downloads it and installs it. And as the name implies, when updates become available, uh, you would do the same thing. Now the workbench is not applied to FreeCAD yet, so as we close this dialog, it asks us if we want to restart FreeCAD. Now we don't have to do it right away. If there's other things we want to do, we can wait, but it won't show up in FreeCAD until you restart. So I'm just going to select OK. And then it restarts FreeCAD. Now if I go to our workbench list, we can see we have the Rocket Workbench under the R. Okay, So it's a very easy and simple way to install the software. Now we can use the same method if we want to remove it. So going to Tools, Add-on Manager, I scroll down now uh, to Rocket, we can see it is green and marked as installed. So if I select it, I can uninstall. It's safely removed, and as I close the dialog, it tells me I have to restart again. Okay, so I select OK, and the program restarts. Now the next two methods require you to know where the package is going to be installed, and there are several ways to find this out. One of the ways is mentioned on the, uh, the home page for the application. Okay, so if I go up to the home. Okay, you see we have directions for manual install. I will expand that. And it says we can run this little bit of code in our FreeCAD Python console. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. and go back to FreeCAD. Now I have the Python console up. I'm going to close you and show you how to uh, get it to display if you don't have it up. So under View, Panels, select Python console, and you can see it shows uh, as part of the uh, application. Now I'll paste in that command. So it's telling FreeCAD to get the configuration for the user application data. Okay, and that has a folder. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, start a new file explorer. Paste that in. And of course, it's got the non Windows spelling. Okay, so you can go back and manually edit that. Eh, there's an easier way. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to the preferences. Now, it's not a macro, but if you go to the macro um, tab under general, it shows you where the macros are installed. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. 
I'll bring up a new Explorer again and paste it in. This shows us the macros. We don't want macros, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one level to the FreeCAD folder. Now, where the add-on workbenches get installed, they're known as modules, and they get installed in the mod folder. So if I go in there, you can see, for example, I have the 3D printing tools and the LC interlocking workbenches already installed. So what I want to do is install uh, my uh, macro, or my workbench. So I've already downloaded it, but uh, if you check the links below, you will see the link for the workbench and for the package. For the package itself, if you go to the workbench folder, select releases, okay, and you can see there's a couple of files there. Now, because these are Python macros, we're actually installing source code, so we don't have anything that's compiled or anything like that. So these are what you want. You can select either the zip or the gzip tar file if you're on uh, Linux. Okay, now I've already done that. So I will uh, copy that into my module folder. And I'm going to extract all. OK. Now, the default extraction has a few problems for us. OK, so if we look into the 3D printing tools module, for example, you can see we have a whole bunch of Python, some resources, whatever files we need in there. OK, so if we go back up a level, going into Rocket 1.0, we have another folder, Rocket 1.0, and then we have our folders. OK, so there's what we want to do is move this folder up to the top. OK, and I'm also going to rename it just to Rocket. Okay. I'm going to move that up to the mod directory. So if we go up to mod, our rocket is now empty. Or sorry, the rocket 1.0 is now empty, and the rocket has all the pieces we need. Okay, and I can delete that old folder. Now it is important that this folder is just called rocket and not rocket 1.0. If it's called Rocket 1.0, it'll find the module and load it, but many of the resources such as uh, icons and so on, uh, it won't be able to find them. It does need to have this folder called Rocket. Similarly, you can't have you know, backup folders in here. So if you want to back this up, copy it into a different folder entirely. OK, so let's go back into FreeCAD. OK, I can cancel this. If we check our list of workbenches, we can see it's still not in there. So as we did with the add-on manager, we need to restart FreeCAD. So I'll close it out and start it again. Now if we select our list of workbenches, we can see that the rocket is right where it belongs. Now to uninstall, it's very similar, although much simpler. Okay, so all we have to do to uninstall is delete it. Okay, so when you delete it, you may be deleting other important things, not so much now, but in the future, there may be other data stored in there. So you wanna back it up, but again, you can't back it up in this folder. It has to be outside of the mod folder. I'm also gonna delete the zip file since that's not actually used. OK, now again, if we go back in, it still shows Rocket because we need to restart. We have to restart whenever we make a change. OK, so I'm just going to close it for now while I show you the next method for um, extracting files. OK, the next method involves uh, cloning the repository. And this uses a tool called Git. And if you're a developer, you're probably familiar with it. And if you're not familiar with it, you probably should go the uh, either the uh, add-on manager route or uh, doing the zip install. Okay, but if you have the Git tools installed in your system, if you right-click 
You can bring up either a GUI or a shell here. The bash is a, a type of shell. I'm going to use the GUI version. Okay. So what we want to do is make a clone of an existing repository. And what you're going to be cloning is the original source code from GitHub. Okay, so I'm going to select that. Now, for the source location, the easiest way to get that, if you go back to uh, the repository on GitHub, we'll go back to code. Under the code button here, it shows what the uh, URL to access that repository is. We click on the clipboard. It'll copy it to our clipboard. Then going back into our GUI, we can just paste. Okay. So we want to select where this is going to go. Okay. So it's going to go into this folder. Now, if we just select clone now, it's going to complain that that folder already exists. So what we want to do is add rocket onto the end of that. And then we can clone. Okay. And when it's done, we're left in the GUI, which we can now close. So you can see we have the rocket folder in our mod. And now we have all of the files we need. We also have some information about the repository itself. So for example, uh, when uh, updates are made to the master repository, I can just do a git pull, which I'm not going to get into here, and that will update things in here. Okay, so let's bring up FreeCAD. Okay, and we can see that the Rocket repository or workbench is right where it needs to be. And select that. We now have the Rocket menu with some inactive actions since we don't have an open document. If we open a document, we now have our Rocket toolbars where we can, for example, create a nose count. Okay, so that's how you install uh, the Rocket Workbench in FreeCAD.